is up guys it is joe here and i am with zach and today is our 2000 subscriber special video we are doing a q and a for the first time ever on the channel we're doing a q and a you guys have submitted your questions to us via youtube community posts and instagram uh, obviously follow instagram down below so uh, next time if we ever do another one you won't miss out but yeah without further ado let's get right into it so kicking things off with our first question we have caleb h6 12 or 1 2 his question what is your opinion on ywe returning uh, i am happy i'm glad they've got their channel back uh, but yeah there's nothing really else to say on that one we're both happy that they're back yeah. aren't we yeah yeah i mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> right moving on to the next question the next question comes from Shane Ryan Barrett. He submitted multiple questions. I'm doing them in order. So first question from him. How do you make your own belt? Well, obviously the belt you are referring to is either the Daniel Bryan Eco-Friendly or the YouTube Promo Championship. Uh, my question, my, uh, my answer. question, my answer to you, mate. Uh, both of these have tutorials on my channel. So go and watch them if you want to find out how. Next up, we have That's One Dank Boy. Uh, <laughs> what a name. Uh, submitting the question of, why is Kip better than you? Uh, well, one. 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 It's one all. I mean, it's equal. There's no, I'm not better than Kip. Kip's not better than me. We're equal. We got a win each. But, you yeah. know, he cheated. I cheated. Is what it is. Oh, did he cheat? I got distracted. Yeah. Yeah. It's one all. It's one all. It's one all. It's one all. So this next question is from Corrupted Chaos Thirteen, and he is asking me and Zach what is our favourite match besides the Rivalry Rumble and our least favourite match from the JTW Rivalry Series, Antonio's Open Challenge, the Kit matches, and Zach Bro's Open Challenge. Any trampoline or backyard match we've taken part in, Zach, what is your favourite? Okay. Um... I don't really go with. I don't really want to go with winning the title because that's kind of generic. But um, I think one of my favourite matches was me against Jason in the Halloween special because that okay. was that was me going against the giant for the first time, um, and I got tossed around. I mean, go go ahead and have a look at it. I I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of in, in my depths there, but I, I used the Zelda sword to help me out. And uh, I managed to pick up the win, but yeah, that was um, the Halloween special as a whole. That was a really nice, um, that was a really nice thing to make. I really enjoyed those matches, and they were good to uh, fight those things. Okay, so my favourite match is the JTW tag team match between me, Zach, Bad B, and JD Bailey. Uh, I thought that was great fun. The first ever tag team match we've ever done. Hopefully, if we ever get another chance, we will do one. Uh, no guarantees. Obviously, I can't promise anything. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. If unfortunately you got, I got yeah. donked over the head with a chair, and then you got two two on one for yeah. like five minutes before eventually having to be taken to the hospital which wasn't fun it wasn't no. uh but yeah there we go so that was our favorite match our least favorite matches do you want to go first again yeah yeah um okay my least favorite match um i know it's a bit you know double standards you know, uh, with my favorite not being winning the title but my least favorite is losing the title uh, and in what match I hear you say uh, I lost it to uh, Jack Edwards. That was that is my least favourite match by far. Bad booking, really. Uh, it's bad booking. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to go into it much, but um, yeah, just hands down, that was that's my least favourite match. Well, my least favourite match was also against that person. Um, it was the match. Well, it's funny because one of the funniest matches I ever had was the pool brawl against that person, just because that was funny. Uh, but my least favourite either has to be my first ever match because I hated how I performed, um, obviously wearing the shirt and the trousers, it was just ugh. Or uh, the match where I basically, just any match against Jack, I mean, no offense, but just, I, I, I'd make, I used to make Jack look like a million bucks and you know, I'd look like on P coin on the floor. Yeah. So, but yeah, that there we go. That was our favourite and least favourite match. Uh, let's move on. So Nathan Knox 2018 has asked, "How long have I been on YouTube?" 
So, I'm not gonna get into all the different channels because they are still live, but I'd rather you guys didn't see that for the time being. Maybe, you know, that'll be like a, a 5,000 subscriber special or something yeah. watching them videos. But I started YouTube when I was in year eight. Uh, and that was looking at it. The 9th of October, 2014 was my first ever channel. It was joint with um, some friends. And then I had my own separate channels. I had two or three, I think it was two channels uh, besides that, neither of which were successful until I created the Joe Talks Wrestling channel in July, 2017. And this is where we're at now. So yeah, I've been on YouTube technically since 2014, but this channel, 2017. Yeah. So, TPW Wrestling has asked me, is Kip any good at wrestling? Yes, I mean... Of course he is. <laughs> go and watch his videos. He watches, uh, he was made videos reacting back to his old matches. My guy used to do some insane moves, like Avalanche Styles Clash. Like, some of the stuff Kip could do was incredible. Even still, I mean, he hit me with an Enziguri, like, you know, he's... Just off the bat. Yeah, it's just like... completely out of nowhere. Like, he can still do stuff. Uh, yeah, definitely go out and check Kip's watching his old wrestling matches videos. They're definitely worth a watch. And they helped me study prior to our match. Yeah. So I believe this next question comes from Deluxe Fever YT. Uh, sorry if I've botched that name. Uh, but he has said, add tag titles, JTW. Now, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. It's not in the works uh, at the yeah. moment, strictly because the roster wouldn't be able to um, sustain tag teams yeah. uh, it would literally be me and Zach JD Bailey Bad B El Gentonio Malasalto like you know we, mm. there's not a, a big enough division to yeah. have tag teams I'm saving money for something else that's big that's going to completely change the money uh, change the money round change the, the channel round but I can't tell you that yet uh, but yeah tag it titles times. maybe one day but as of the foreseeable future sorry mate it's not going to happen I don't think mm mm so this is a joint question now from Little Spike 19 and Brandon Green. Both have asked favorite WrestleMania. Oh, I am very torn on this one. Uh, I have like a top like 27 was my first, but obviously that was a terrible show other than The Rock returning and Undertaker Triple H. Um 28 was fantastic. Um 20 30 was my first live WrestleMania. I love that one. 35 was awesome this year. 33, another one, the Hardy Boys return. I don't have a definitive answer, uh, but my top three are definitely... I'd, I'm going to have to say 30, 35, 33. They're, they're my top three. Uh, what about you, Zach? Okay, well, my favourite, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this as well before, uh, is WrestleMania 32. It was my first ever live WrestleMania. I was here at Joe's house. It was kind of my first insight to the, uh, to the uh, wrestling world, because I've been getting into it. Um, Joe showed me this awesome clip of uh, Randy Orton, Arco and Seth Rollins from the curb stomp. I can't remember what WrestleMania that was. 31. 31. And uh, I, was, I wanted to go home and just look at some wrestling from there. And then I started talking to Joe about it. Um, and then he invited me around for WrestleMania 32. And hey ho, there you go, I'm here now. Uh, that's my favourite one. Looking back, I mean, it's a bad show. It was one of the worst <laughs> WrestleManias ever. But because it was my first one, first main live event. one, just the nostalgia point of view, it was great. Moving on. Right, so this next question is from Captain Uvif23, and he has asked, well, two questions. He said, one, who would win? Captain Uvif or Jaden Oh My God Vlogs? Uh, I honestly have no idea. Um, you two are both sort of similar, like, you know, in levels. So I guess... I don't know, if you had two matches, it would be one all. Uh, and then next up, Zach, Marvel, Avengers, or DC, Justice League? Avengers. Avengers. All the way. Screw DC, man. Avengers? On... That's not even a question. Come on. I hate... I, I, I don't like DC. I'm, I'm Marvel all the way. Sorry if that ups, upsets any of you, but it's true. It's Marvel. Moving on. So, Shane Ryan Barrett has asked his second question, and it is, of all of the YouTubers in the world, every single one, who would you wrestle? Uh, Zach, you go first. Okay, uh, sorry. Jake Paul. Uh, I'd love to get in a ring with Jake Paul and just hit him multiple times with a steel chair um, or with sledgehammer. I'd put him for a flaming table. You know, I'd just love to inflict as much punishment yeah. as I can on Jake Paul. Uh, real life, he'd probably beat me. I mean, look at him. He's like... A man that's, you know, big, but 
Screw it. Yeah, I mean, I ain't I'd, backing down. <laughs> I mean, I'd go against KSI because I know that he kind of likes wrestling, and just because I'd be able to say that I've wrestled KSI, I mean, he's sick. If I wanted to have an actual good wrestling match with a YouTuber, uh, an actual match that I feel like would be fun, I'd wrestle Joe Weller because I very much like Joe Weller. He's a oh, great yeah. YouTuber, yeah. and he's a, clearly a wrestling fan. So, you know, he's probably my dream YouTube opponent. But yeah, moving on. So, Music WWE Guy has asked us, when will you unveil or when will you introduce a new title to JTW? Uh, my honest answer, go back three weeks. We yeah. literally have got a new world championship. We have. So, yeah, it's, you know, obviously same design, but a brand new belt. And once you get up close and personal, you can watch my re review of the Fandu Big Gold. They're it's, completely it's different. Incredible. Like the detail and everything's insane. So we've got a, a championship now. But yeah, other than that, I don't have any plans for the future. We've got our, our intercontinental champion. We've got our world champion. We're good to go. Moving on. Okay, so the next question, Landon Cena has asked me, do you have a girlfriend? And I'm going to be frank, no. Uh, I'm, I'm still not over a talking stage that happened like four months ago. So, you know, yeah, let's not go into that. But Zach, do you have a girlfriend? I do. I do have a girlfriend of like four years now. So, uh, yeah, it's been a minute. But um, <laughs> uh, Joe, on the other hand... Um, let's not get into that. They, they don't need to know any I'm of that. I'm still coaching him. Oh, so. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, Josh Cooper has asked us a very good question. Favourite promotion other than WWE plus favourite WWE star? Um, obviously, the obvious answer is AEW, but that's not what I'm going to say. Um, I have not watched a single episode of Dynamite because it's not on TV. It's, I, I can't get it on TV. Um, so, I'm going to say New Japan Pro Wrestling is my favourite other promotion just because of the prestige of the titles of how good the wrestlers are i don't watch it regularly uh but you know the wrestling's insane they've got fantastic wrestlers over there guys like hiroshi tanahashi kazuchika okada um will osprey you know all of the in the juniors in the heavyweights it's all just fantastic in new japan zach what's your favorite other promotion i mean i'm just gonna have to go with aew actually no no my favorite other um promotion is jcw there we go. Yeah, JCW, JCW. us, of course. Yeah. Uh, Favourite WWE star? Three, two, one, Roman Seth Reigns. Rollins. Uh, I've been a Seth Rollins mark for like four years? Too long. Yeah, Too long. something like that. Yeah. Since I was like, you know, teenager, early teenager. Um, and obviously, Zach has been a Roman fan since he became a wrestling fan. So, yeah, there's yeah. our answers. Yeah, there's our answers. Moving on. Okay, so you're going to forgive me for having to botch this name, but... ISU Saints 36 Horton uh, has asked me. Wow. That's a long name. That is a name uh, and a half. First WWE show you ever saw. So I've been to two WWE live shows, uh, not televised, just house shows. Um, the first one I ever went to was in November 2010. It was a Raw live tour in the UK. Let's put this embarrassing picture up on screen. Uh, there we go. <laughs> that, that, that's me uh, with my uh, my bootleg, uh, my bootleg, my cut off jeans at the boot, uh, with my Cena shirt on. Obviously, obvious Cena mark. But yeah, that was my first show. Zach, you haven't actually been to a WWE show but, yet, but that is about to change. We are going to SmackDown in the O2 in May. So if you're gonna be there, be sure to come up, say hi. Obviously, Absolutely. It should be a great show. So, uh, one of my good fans, Jesse, AXB Monsterama09, has asked me, will you ever do your own promo competition? And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, no. That is Kip's thing. And I am very well known, well, sort of well known. I'm one of them YouTubers that I'm not going to clickbait you. Uh, I'm not going to steal other people's content. I'm not just going to, I'm going to be honest. And no, it's Kip's thing. It's his promo competition. It's not mine. He came up with the idea. He went through all the preparation. I'm not going to steal that. Like, you know, I'm not I'm not a dick. Yeah. So I, I'm just, you know, I'm not going to steal that. Uh, hopefully I'll be a judge in the next promo competition. Obviously current promo champion. Uh, but yeah, there's your answer, mate. I will not be doing my own promo competition. So Samu Samu has hit us with a great question here. When and how did you decide to become a YouTuber? So... I loved making YouTube videos uh, since obviously year eight, since I was a kid. Uh, they were mainly gaming videos like Grand Theft Auto. Um, however, 
It was probably, I tried a wrestling channel before. I'm not gonna tell you the name of it because it's too bad, uh, but it didn't work. I literally got like 20 subscribers and it just wasn't working. So I quit, went back to my main channel. That got to about two, 300 subscribers. Then I quit that as well. Uh, and then I quit YouTube for a good, I don't know, couple months. Uh, it was a, it was a break. So I hadn't officially quit, but I wasn't making videos for months uh, to the point people were commenting like, where are you? And uh, then I made the Joe Talks Wrestling channel in July. It was literally just the spur of the moment kind of thing. I was like to Zach, why don't we make a new YouTube channel where I just try everything? Like pick feds, news, reviews, anything to do with wrestling, I'll do it. Because a lot of YouTubers stick to one topic. So we did, we did. And then that's when the rivalry series started. Mm. Uh, so technically, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I still go to college and I still have a job. So I'm not one of them YouTubers that does it full time. Uh, however, if that can be the end goal, then that's awesome. Uh, I'm giving myself a year next year to sort of just pursue it a bit more, see how it goes. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I've am i done pretty well in my eyes, considering I, ne I never self-promoted. I weren't one of them kids that would go around school telling everyone everything I built, I built on my own with Zach. So it's just one of them, but yeah. I'm still not technically a full-time YouTuber, but I decided to ta uh, try YouTube again in 2017 when I was in year 10. Year 10. Yeah, year 10. Charlie Championship Wrestling has asked us what happened between you and Kip. Well, my friend, I won a promo competition. And then after that, um, he I attacked him in Smith's Toy Superstores, nearly got 100,000 views on his channel. And uh, then essentially... After that, we sort of went a bit back and forth. I went into one of his live streams. Uh, I went to... You hacked his computer? Yeah, I hacked his computer. Uh, then he jumped me uh, while I was taking the bins out. Then he made a video saying that he was going to come to JTW on this certain date, and we had a match. Then we had a match. Uh, I beat him for the 24-7 championship. I lost the 24-7 championship. I won it. I lost it. I won it. I lost it. Then after that, we had a tables match where he won back. No, he didn't. You pinned me, and uh, you won the 24-7 championship. However, Kit put me through a table, and now we're even Stevens. So, yeah. That's what happened. There you go. Not sure. Yeah. Pretty much. WWE Figs has asked me, what is the favourite figure you own? So, I have a lot of wrestling figures from the Pick Fed. Oh, yeah. And I obviously, when I was a kid, there was loads of figures that I always wanted. I didn't get Elites as a kid because, you know, they were too expensive. They were like £20 a pop. And uh, so I only got basics when I was a kid. But when I started doing the Pick Fed, I was like, well, we can't use basics on Fed. So I sold all of my figures, bought only Elites, um, all except a couple. So there's some fantastic figures that I absolutely love that I have, like the Elite John Morrison. I can't remember the numbers now. And the Elite Evan Bourne, uh, all both in their red attires. But the first figure I ever have, uh, I was ever given, is still in my possession. I'm holding it right now. I don't know the series. I don't know anything. But my good friend Miles from Holiday was a wrestling fan. He's the reason I'm a wrestling fan. So everyone comment, thank you, Miles, in the comment section thank down you, below. Miles. Comment, thank you, Miles. Uh, M-Y-L-E-S. And yeah, so Miles gave me this Matt Hardy Ruthless Aggression uh, Jack Pacific figure. I don't know if it's Ruthless Aggression actually, but it is Jack Pacific. Uh, and it's this Matt Hardy figure. And he gave me it when we were on holiday in like 2009 or 2010. And ever since then, I became a wrestling fan. So once again, comment thank you, Miles, in the comment section down below. All of this is because of Miles. <coughs> Moving on. So TS Wrestling has asked me through AXB Monster Armor 09. Would you wrestle me in a company one day? Well, let me lay this out. If I was in a company and you were in a company and we were booked to wrestle each other, yes, I would wrestle you. But at the moment, I couldn't wrestle you. That would be assaulting a minor. So not right it now, but in like 10 years time, yeah. you know, if I'm in like WWE and I'm like, you know, 28 and you're like, I don't know, old, uh, then we would have a match. Then there you go. It's on the line, but you know, you know, you're like what young, so you know, I can't, I can't do that now. I'd, I'd go to jail. But yeah, yeah, other than that, why not? So Outlaw Gaming has asked us our favourite match of all time from any promotion. Ooh. Now, because you've said any promotion, I'm going to give you two. So Undertaker Triple H uh, 27 with still nostalgia purposes, my favourite match. But also I love Michaels and Taker from like 25, 26. There's so many matches. I'm sticking with Triple H and Undertaker WrestleMania 27. That was the first serious wrestling match I ever watched. Uh, however, other promotion, just from a pure wrestling standpoint, I am going with... 
Kenny Omega versus Kazuchika Okada at Dominion 2018. What a match. Seven stars, I believe, from Dave Meltzer. He made me watch it. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, it was... I'm not going to lie, that kind of really opened my eye to what technical wrestling is and what it takes to put on a good match. I mean, honestly, that match was incredible. I hugely recommend it. Definitely. Zach, yeah. what's your favourite match from WWE? And if you have a match from any other promotion. Okay, I it. think... My one of my favourite matches is uh, Roman Reigns versus Bray. Bray Wyatt in a Hell in a Cell match, I, th I believe 2016. 2015. 2015, I always get that wrong. Uh, it was just, a, I, I'm not going to lie, the build up to it, me being a Romans fan and Bray having that weird aura about him. Um, that spear through the table was awesome as well, what, off the apron. It's incredible. Um, it was just the whole build up, it was just a good storyline. Back when booking and storylines were better, um, so, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> yeah, I mean that is that is one of my favourite matches, and I guess from from another from another promotion. You liked the Lucha Brothers match, didn't you, with the Young Bucks? Uh, that's it. That's what I was trying to think about. Yeah, I can't match, remember what oh. show that was at. It was either at All Out or what was it at? It weren't at Fighter Fest. I watched well, the show. I, I, I can't remember, show, but so. it was at an AEW yeah, show, it and it was great. Uh, yeah, the oh. Young Bucks and the Lucha Bros always tear the house down. So, incredible, that's, incredible. There you go, moving on. Moving on to our final question from Yellow Army. He has asked us our favorite AEW star. Straight up, I think we're gonna have the same one. So in three. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, favorite AEW star. Oh, oh, oh okay. Ready? Okay. In three. One, two, three. John, John Moxley, Moxley. Uh, 100% definitely. Obviously, I, Used to be a major Kenny Omega mark, but they have ruined him. Uh, yeah. And I don't care what any of you say in an argument to that. No one can convince me otherwise. Kenny Omega is a jobber mid-carder in AEW, and it sucks. He's one of the best wrestlers on the planet. Look at him, former IWGP heavyweight champion, and you've done that to him. But anyway, John Moxley is definitely one of my favourites. He's so sick, he's badass. I always he's loved so Dean cool. Ambrose. Uh, we both always loved Dean Ambrose, but John Moxley is just a, a different whole level. different cat. Uh, and I didn't mean to, you know, make that reference. But there you go. That was our Q&A. Uh, me and Zach, 2,000 subscriber Q&A. I think 21 or 22 questions right there. So thank you very much for all getting involved. Yeah. I've been Joe from Joe Talk Wrestling. That has been Zach. We will see you in the next video. Please be sure to give this a like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.